beginning of the end of a long winter. And just as Mother Nature starts to shed her white winter coat, men begin to make plans for the coming spring. For men like Art and Harry Howard of Warren, Minnesota, spring is the time to head south for the start of the Custom Cutters Trail. As they load up their machines, few words are said. Everyone in the club, and that the long haul from Texas to Saskatchewan depends on each man getting that job done right. But most of all, the Howard crew knows their whole operation depends on these giant combines. Combines they'll live with day and night for months on end. They've got a long way to roll before this trip is done. Thousands of acres and millions of bushels lie between start and finish. How well these machines run around the clock in every conceivable harvesting condition will determine a whole year's income. So with everything on the line, the Howard brothers are mighty careful to choose the combine that has the guts to take the toughest trip in the world. This year, these men found two new tough ones that have the kind of performance and endurance none of the others can come close to. They're big, the biggest there are, from Massey Ferguson. And from the Pecos to the Peace, the word is out. They've been out in fields all over North America for more than five years. They've been tested, tested, and tested some more. It took more than 10,000 engine hours and hundreds of fields in Ontario, Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Arizona, California, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Washington, Louisiana, Arkansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Ohio, Florida, and Iowa. All told, more than 70,000 acres have already been harvested by Massey Ferguson 750s and 760s. The major crops were swathed and stand in wheat, rapeseed, barley, flax, dry peas, red beans, corn, soybeans, rice, milo, and safflower. Impressed? Well, there's more. The 750 and 760 had to pass the test at the brutal Toronto test track. That's where Massey Ferguson engineers catch the little bugs with a fine tooth comb. Look at it this way. Massey Ferguson designers make these combines more dependable, more reliable, and easier to service. Massey Ferguson field test engineers made sure of it for you. After all, They've got to live up to the worldwide Massey reputation for combines a man can count on. Combines that get the big, tough jobs done on time, every time. That reputation gives these machines a real head start. Fact is, there aren't too many people been making combines over 50 years. Now what do you say we take a good, close look at what makes these MF combines the all-time champ? You know how big a VW is. If you could park it on the 760 straw walkers under that hood, you could still open the door to get out. That's for starters. Just listen to the 760's vital statistics. Cylinder, 60 inches wide. Separating area, over 74 square feet. Cleaning area, over 42 square feet. Brain tank capacity, 180 bushels and dependable 140 horsepower Perkins diesel engine to keep you going. The 750 cylinder is 50 inches wide, too. Separating area is over 63 square feet, and the 750 delivers more than 35 square feet of cleaning area. The grain tank holds 140 bushels, and you can get your choice of a 115 horsepower Perkins diesel or gas engine. Capacity? there from front to back. The biggest ever on the 760. It starts with header up to 24 feet wide. Same on the 750. Behind this five bat all metal reel is a slip clutch protected 20 inch diameter auger. It feeds what you cut to the paddle elevator. And here's where 50 years experience building combines really pays off. Every now and then, a combine's going to gobble up a rock too big to chew up and spit out. 
That's why the blades on this paddle elevator are angle iron with flexible rubber edges. The rubber edge is easy and low cost to replace. The angle iron can be straightened with a good hammer. Permanent damage? None. That's good engineering. Okay, now we've got the grain up to the front feeder. It's standard equipment on the MF 760 and 750 to make sure the material is moving smoothly and at just the right angle into the cylinder. But just in case a stone has made it up this far, the beater deflects those troublemakers into an extra big stone trap. The best part is when the trap gets filled, you can dump it easily. It's important to keep this cylinder well protected because it's the heart of any combine. And you can change the heartbeat to match your crop and conditions exactly all the way from 310 to 1280 RPMs. Here's the 11 bar open grade concave. On the 760, it wraps a full 103 degrees around the cylinder for 651 square inches of open threshing area. Best of all, it adjusts up and down, front and rear, for just the right clearance to get all the grain without cracking a lot of kernels. And just to make sure the back keeps up with the front, this six-blade rear beater strips the cylinder and moves things onto the walkers. It'll handle any crop without adjustment. Beneath the concave is a deep bucket that gets the threshed grain out as fast as you can dump it in. It's more than four inches from concave to grain pan. And this special flat pan throws all the grain back every time it rocks. It stays empty but there's no jamming up in the flow of grain. Now take a look at these dual fans. They distribute air evenly over the entire width of the triple screen cascading chute. Result, less matting, better, faster separation and clean. The straw walkers are nearly six feet wide, 71 inches to be exact, and 10 feet long. The 750s are 61 inches wide, and that separation capacity you can't get anywhere else. Now let's go outside for some more things you'll like about these two new combines. Like filling those big 180 and 140 bushel grain tanks with good clean corn you don't get docked for at the elevator. And unloading in just two minutes without breaking stride. Notice that high clearance unloading auger. It's extra long for good reach. You never have to leave that quiet, comfortable cab to put it right where you want it. When you eat up eight rows of big yield and irrigated corn this fast, you've got something going for you. Especially when you do it in complete comfort. From this cab, standard equipment on every single MF 760, optional on the 750, you're on top of your harvest all the time. You'll smile while you boss your combines. Dust, dirt, Noise, forget them. Why, they're even built to blow engine heat from left to right so it doesn't heat up the cab. Design like this saves a lot of headaches for you. Take a look at these steps on the elevator that make it easy to get at the engine housing. They also lift up and make it easy to get at the beater elevator. And you can get right into the engine housing just like this. Change the air filter, work on the engine, and enjoy all that working room for a change. Want to check the oil? Simple. So is greasing and getting at the feeder housing. You can even climb into the walker body. The plain truth is, this combine was built to make skinned knuckles from hard to get at places a thing of the past. Look how easy you adjust the airflow over the cleaning screens. Once it's right, you're back to eating up acres like never before. Safely because Massey protects all the drive mechanisms with safety shields that are easy to remove for maintenance. But most of all, the MF 760 and 750 are built to buy you time, when time is what counts most. Take switching headers, for example. The Massey Ferguson quick attach feature lets you get it done easily and in less than five minutes. Try to beat that. Just reverse what you're seeing with a corn head and you're in business in another crop. For road transport, there's a custom-built Donahue trailer. Drive her up, hire her down, and move out. For the 760 or 750, fit her out with big tires for extra flotation. 
Your choice of headers from 16 to 24 feet on the 760, 13 to 24 feet on the 750. You can even use an old table or corn head with a special adapter kit. Tailor the 760 and 750 to suit your conditions. You'll be on top of your harvest from start to finish, wherever you farm, whatever your crop. There are two new leaders in the Massey Ferguson line in wheat fields, the corn fields, rice fields, and every grain field in between. These combines are bigger and better than the best there was before. They join the proud Massey Ferguson line, the line that gives a man command of his land, no matter how tough the going gets. These are the machines that get the big jobs done in time all the time. Take a tip from the men who know combines best. Men who live with them to make a living. These two new ones from Massey are the first to finish and they're the last to quit.